leader of India who has very clearly limited with the Putin statement that this is not something that is possible in the century, that this war needs to end. Definitely this war needs to end. So do you, do you believe that uh, uh, Mr. Modi has a, very, has, a, has a role to play in ending this war? Uh, I believe so, because this is a century of redefining geopolitical centers and India being the biggest country on earth does population in terms of the great promise that all, that all of you provide that I have seen myself when I study in Kolkata in India. Uh, I can tell you that this will be a century that will be defined by your nation. You're watching Hindustan Times, I'm Aditi Prasad. The war in Ukraine began nearly a year ago, and yet there is no end in sight. I'm joined today by Ukrainian parliament member uh, Sivagoslav Yurash to discuss the most recent developments on the battlefield. Uh, you've finished one year of, almost done with one year of uh, uh, this invasion by Russia. Uh, Yurash, you're also not a stereotypical politician. When you, when, you know, when push came to shove, you were photographed carrying a Kalashnikov on the streets of Kyiv and leading Ukraine's right back. In the last one year, what is that one big learning that you've had? Well, first, uh, at that point, whoever stayed in Kyiv had to try and think of a way they can fight against whatever Russians would throw at Kyiv. So my choice is very simple. I stayed in Kyiv and I, after the greatest tragedies personally, I have I joined the army in that sense and fought around Kyiv in March. And the point is that it's not just myself, many people who you wouldn't think uh, were capable of that uh, basically chose to defend their country in every way they could. And the fact was there was a war, it made, the Russia was very clear about its aim. It has presented uh, hours long videos by Mr. Putin who stated he wants to solve the Ukrainian question and take on Ukraine. To this imperialism uh, that has no place in our day and age, our nation is a resounding no. First, defeating Russians around our capital, then defeating Russians in the north, then defeating them around the east, then beating them back in the south. And as we continue to show to the world how much of a giant of clay legs Russia is, we keep proving to our nation that our nation has a future. Um, you know, you, Putin on the one year war anniversary has vowed to sister, he's not backing down. In fact, in his State of the uh, Nation address, he said he wants to systematically press on with Moscow's offensive on Ukraine. Um, how, how, your, your response to uh, Putin's continued onslaught and his, and his, uh, you know, never say, uh, he's not he's not willing to back down clearly and we are not willing to give up our country and uh, we will defend it we will defend it and every inch of it as we are again fighting for our national freedom we are fighting for the right for us to exist mr putin's goal that he stated time and time again is to destroy the ukrainian state we want ukraine to continue we want our nation to be our nation we want to decide our own future so as far as Mr. Putin's delusions, uh, he will fail. Do you feel, uh, you know, because there have been a lot of analysts who've been talking about the fact that perhaps the West is afraid to anger Putin, you know, just that much more, you know, uh, so that there is a backlash uh, from the Russian side uh, towards the rest of the NATO members. Uh, do you think there's any water in that in that argument? Is there is there a hesitancy to provoke? Putin that much more? That the reality is the West has went a long way uh, through this year in terms of changing its perspective on Mr. Putin. They don't believe him. They don't believe either his promises or his threats. He has claimed many things and said many things, but the reality is the West saw them to be hollow and has supported us time and time again. And I'm I'm very thankful to say that it's not just the West. Many countries around the world have joined in in different ways, both humanitarian and uh, in terms of logistical support, and in terms of uh, medical support, and in terms of support for many millions of Ukrainians who have left Ukraine sadly. And I'm thankful to India for all it has provided and all it has tried to showcase its commitment to the fact that this is 
a catastrophe that Russia is wrecking onto the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, I'm very thankful to Mr. Modi, uh, leader of India, who has very clearly in the meeting with Mr. Putin stated that this is not something that is possible in this century, that this war needs to end. Definitely this war needs to end. So do you, do you believe that uh, uh, Mr. Modi has a, very, has, a, has a role to play in ending this war? Uh, I believe so, because this is the century of redefining the geopolitical centers and India being the biggest country on earth in terms of population, in terms of the great promise that all, that all of you provide that I have seen myself when I study in Kolkata in India. Uh, I can tell you that this will be the century that will be defined by your nation. And the more, uh, more, the more of a role you play in the global questions of our time, like this, this uh, catastrophe that Russia is wrecking onto the world in many different places, but lastly, our nation, uh, and, and trying to stop that and trying to showcase to Russia that it cannot just do what it pleases is something that will allow India to take its rightful place in the uh, great, power, great powers of the world. Has the Ukrainian president, uh, uh, Mr. Zelensky, has he reached out to Mr. Modi to help res- resolve this impasse? Uh, first, I believe they have spoken. Uh, I believe they have exchanged uh, telephone calls and some of my colleagues are actually right now in India with various uh, points that they need to uh, develop and speak with various uh, members of the Indian government. And I believe I myself shall be uh, traveling to India in the next couple of weeks. But uh, the point is that, again, India is fundamental to the story that that our planet will have in the 21st century. So our point is to try and showcase to why Ukraine is not just a... uh, problem to be looked at. It's also a country that has a vibrant Indian community, we have a vibrant Indian diaspora. They can tell you much more of why Ukraine is important, why Ukraine is, uh, can be very useful to the interconnections that India is making to the world in the century, and why this fight, the sooner it ends and the sooner Russia withdraws from our country, the better it is for everybody.